looking a bit back, it was a real mess. We had around 17 different ERP systems group-wide that came from uh, our original history to be a very country-driven organization. Every ERP system in the world was somehow present in DKSH, and if we had the same one, if they chose SAP or if they chose J.D. Edwards or if they chose something else, then at least they made sure that they customized it in such a manner that it was not possible to communicate with each other. Typical situation which you have, particularly in, in organizations which have grown through mergers, obviously it was a, an absolute or is an absolute nightmare to work together and uh, to exchange information and to see an overall picture, a holistic picture about your supplier or your customer. For several years in a row now, DKSH is enjoying massive revenue growth, and it is hard to imagine that such growth can be supported by the complex heterogeneous IT landscape you just described. What was your strategy to bring DKSH from mess to success? There was uh, one important step. We have set up a, a corporate shared service center. We call this CSSC, and uh, we have set this up in Kuala Lumpur. So we have uh, made this decision in 2004 uh, to centralize the IT, and uh, one of the foremost reasons was not to save costs. It was really to get a culture of service and process standardization across the board. And the shared service center is basically the vehicle to deploy best practices within DKSH. Meanwhile, our shared service center is an award-winning service site. We have become an, a reference site for SAP. We are the, the biggest single SAP instance in Asia Pacific. We have become an outstanding award site for IBM. We have the biggest uh, Unix on demand infrastructure in Asia Pacific, and our global network is based on British Telecom Infinite, where we also a reference site as well. And one of our biggest projects and uh, the driver, the vehicle for our change process is called Pegasus. What is behind it? It's a global SAP template. It's the biggest project in DKSH ever. It involves over 1,000 people across uh, all countries, and it's really a dramatic change process which we have initiated in 2005. We are doing this for all markets. We are doing this for all processes, all business units. And here comes the tricky part in what I earlier mentioned. We are providing services for totally different business units and for totally different products. And we, from an IT perspective and a process perspective, we try to convince our business units that the core processes are the same. We treat them the same. This gives us a, a huge potential, a huge potential for deploying new practices and ensuring that all countries enjoying the same efficient processes where one country is the leader. So if you have an excellent process in Malaysia, with immediate effect we can deploy this across DKSH to all countries based on one single template. Now what we see over here is what we call our wheel of excellence. We wanted to use uh, a package of best-of-fit products, the best-of-fit for us, and combining that in, in, in one package to make sure that we are uh, getting a cost reduction and we are increasing our quality and service levels. So just to mention a few of them, on the left side you see net process uh, from IntelliCorp. For the first time in DKSH, we have documented all processes online in one tool, accessible by everybody in DKSH. So it's a huge uh, opportunity for us and to uh, process optimization. The other area is data quality. As you can imagine, with our amount of SKUs and our amount of uh, supplier and customer data, we do have a huge demand on the correct data. Otherwise, we are delivering the products to the wrong customers, the wrong address, which costs us a lot of money, which we cannot afford. We cannot afford overhead. We are able to use a tool here uh, that is based on fuzzy technology. And the reason why we are talking over here is B2E. You know, in the olden days, we would have said uh, we talk about DAI. Now we talk about SOA, or uh, we, we call it something else. At the end of the day, we talk about integrating businesses. We talk about interface management, and we talk about how can we connect to our stakeholders, means to our business partners as well as to our customers. And over here we have found for us the best tool which is available in the world is B2E, which had for us tremendous, tremendous success and a tremendous impact because we were able to cut down our cycle time dramatically. We have, uh, we have over 2,000 principles. Every day we are getting new principles on board. 
sometimes principles are leaving us, so we have to do on a daily basis a docking and a undocking of businesses. We need a desperately an integration platform which could help us to get over those hurdles. We started last year in April 2006 with an RFP where we tried to find the best integration software available in the market. We invited the top five, which you usually do, and then you invite also the next top five, which want to become the top five, and then we did an evaluation with those candidates. Fortunately, we came across E2E, where we made the decision very fast after being introduced to E2E. The E2E has a huge upside uh, potential for DKSH, and we uh, did a proof of concept with E2E. And for me, and uh, I'm in IT now over 20 years, this is really the first time, the first time I have seen a proof of concept where we had a reusable result, usable in our real life. So after we have done a successful proof of concept with E2E, we gave them a, a, even a bigger challenge. We had uh, our pilot installation in Singapore for our global template to be completed. And the necessity was to have within, within 10 weeks but, of course, we had a budget restraint. We could afford only two developers and one project manager on site. And that was basically the real decision-making whether uh, we go ahead with E2E. What should I tell you? Of course, uh, the delivery was completed on time, in quality, and in budget. So from then onwards, uh, it was very clear E2E was for us the strategic integration backbone for DKSH worldwide. You see that in the next slide. This is our